Stanton showed off his light tower power on Monday with a 472-foot blast. Modi Abbott store on Tuesday. Well, top one, Stanton's on the base paths, and Mike Cameron's going to single him home along with Greg Dobbs. Part of a three-run first inning for the Fish against Jolice Chassin. Now, this is a good scene for the Colorado Rockies. Juan Nicasio back at the ballpark for the first time after being hit on the mound by a comeback. Refractured a vertebrae in his neck. Certainly good to see him back at the park. Bottom two, here's Troy Tulowitzki, and that is gone off Anibal Sanchez. Number 25 for Tulo, and the Rockies are on the board. To the top of the fourth, now 4-2 fish. Brian Peterson up with a man on. Peterson sends that one to center. It's deep. Fowler going back, cutting over. He won't get it. All the way to the wall. Peterson around second. He's headed for third. He's got another triple. And the Marlins have another run. Now that second triple of the game for Peterson. Bottom of the inning, Carlos Gonzalez. He does Peterson one base better. The home run, number 19. Sanchez gets up three home runs, all solo shots. So top seven, here's Mike Stanton. Oh. Stanton drives oh. it left field and deep. And gone. Mike Stanton, second home run in two nights. And the Marlins stretch the lead to 6-3. Just unbelievable power from Stanton, his 28th on the season. Still 6-3, bottom nine. Leo Nunez trying to improve after a rough outing on Monday. And look at this, he serves it up to Jason Giambi. Giambi had the walk-off home run Monday night. It wasn't against Nunez, but Giambi with a two-run blast here. Suddenly a one-run game. Later in the inning, the potential tying run is aboard. And Nunez gets Dexter Fowler to pop out to shortstop. So a rocky effort, but Nunez earns his 33rd save and the Fish wins 6-5. Sanchez goes eight innings, allowing three runs and striking out seven for his seventh win and his first since June 10th.